Boeing landing a massive Ryanair order. Joining us now on the news is our own Phil LeBeau. He's got two special guests. Phil. Thank you, David. Here with Michael O'Leary, CEO of Ryanair, Dave Calhoun, CEO of Boeing. Huge order, up to 300 737 MAX 10s. List price, over $40 billion, but significant discounts were agreed to. How did this come together, Michael? I think it's something we've been discussing for about the last 18 months. You know, we did a follow-on order during COVID here with Boeing. At that stage, we said we want to do a follow-on order for MAX 10s. We've had it been challenged getting a a reasonable pricing deal out of this guy here on my left-hand side. But I think, you know, we've, uh, we met in January. We've done the deal in the space of less than two months. And it creates an opportunity for Ryanair now to grow to 300 million passengers a year over the next decade in Europe. We have a phased uh, delivery of great aircraft that are significantly better performers. They'll carry about 20% more passengers, burn 20% less fuel. And it means we're going to create about 10,000 new jobs across Europe for pilots, cabin crew and engineers. We couldn't be more excited. Got to go home now and find a way to pay for them. And Dave, for you, from your perspective, yep. the significance here is that it's the MAX 10. They're not taking delivery until 27. It goes through certification end of 24. But this is, this is the, the stretch version, the most, not most important, but a significantly important uh, aircraft. Critical step forward for us. Uh, you know there's robust demand for the Dash 10. We're confident in the airplane, the certification timelines that we have ahead of us. But the best thing about this order is that it's Ryanair, it's Michael, um, they're a tough test. They always have been. They always will be. They run a low-cost airline. They satisfy their customers each and every day to, to a greater extent than any of the others. Uh, so for us to continue to play forward in this model, in this model, is probably the most important part of the, of the news. You mentioned they're a tough customer. Michael, let's be honest. Your candid comments about Boeing over the years, uh, th this goes beyond what people usually hear publicly from CEOs. Do you regret any of what you said in the past about Boeing? I mean, at one point you said these guys need to get their you-know-what together, yeah. and you suggested that the management had no clue what they were doing. Do you regret those comments? I don't think so. I mean, you know, look, I think at a time we were, I think it reflected the frustration we felt with delivery delays. You know, we recovered very strongly in Europe post-COVID. I, I think we didn't really appreciate the challenge that not so much were faced by Boeing, but also the supply chain and fixing those supply chain issues. You know, I make mistakes on a frequent basis. I frequently shoot my mouth off, not always necessarily accurately. I think the good news today is, you know, I, I use it, it's a bit like a marriage. We have occasional fights. We squabble occasionally, but, you know, we kiss and make up and then I pay up and buy some more really brilliantly manufactured aircraft that are going to save me a fortune in the next couple of years. Uh, speaking of riffs, uh, you were going to say something? Yeah, I have to comment. I, uh, I, I, want to, I want to be as clear as I can. Michael was out there. He was clear. His emotion showed. That is an incredibly important message for the Boeing company to hear, for me to hear, for our team in Seattle to hear, for our workers to hear. And then what we do, we get down and work at it. We work at it. We work at it. We know we have supply chain challenges we're not afraid of them. We're going to get into them. We go through them. Michael sees it transparently and clearly. Um, so for him to express himself is fine with us. It is fine.